Guys, you know what time it is again. It's episode six. The blueprint coming at you hard and fast. We are doing it again. Now, if you recall in episode five, we went back to what we had already discussed. So today, we're moving forward. We secured the bag. We got the approval. What is left to do? I think it's the simple part, people say. People think this is the easy part. It is time to build the building. But what are the controls in place so that you know that you're on time? You're on budget. How do you even know if what's going on in the field is actually going to achieve the goal of finishing this building? So what have we done in construction over millennia in order to build faster and more efficient? Well, not much, but I'm gonna tell you the two things that we try to put together in order to get it done. So the expectation I always hear and people are telling me is you got the money, you got the drawings, you're ready to go, you've got the builders, you've executed with the subcontractors. That means that all there is now is just to get going, but it isn't that simple. Man, do I wish it was. So what do you do? Let me inform you of a tiny little secret. The fun has just begun when you're finally ready to go. Construction, as I always say, is a complex business. What does that even mean? People always try to break down construction into complicated means or incremental steps in order to build a building. Let me give you an example. The Industrial Revolution. You had a car, you had one person screw in this, one person tinker with that, and as long as you went down an assembly line, boom shakalaka, car was done. People try to do that in construction all the time. So if construction is complex, there's so many variables, there's no way in which you can actually say, if we do X, then we do Y, then we produce Z, right? So how do you come up with all of these things in order to track that information? In the military, there's so much variability, how do you know who can actually win the battle? So there's this thesis by this guy that I always use. His name is Karl von Clausewitz. He was this Prussian general and he wrote this book where he said, war is an extension of politics. The second thing he said is, how do you win the war in a battle? He said that his generals that they chose had genius. To me, that's like a cop out. What do you mean genius? That means that these generals that ones, the ones that we write books about, always said they knew the variables, they knew the enemy, they were able to bring the power of their military in the moment at that time in order to succeed. That was how they resolved a complex uh, industry and a complex business. So you're telling me now that construction is complex. So what can you put in place to make sure that you have the manpower and you have what you need in the moment to build the building? Well, we've come up with two things that we try to use in order to actually moderate and know if we're on time and on budget. Let's lay out the basics of the two things in the field that allow us to build the building and understand if we could keep it on track. So there's the two things. So the first one is a field operation and the other one is money. And we spoke about it before, time and money equals a successful project. So let's talk about time first. We call it the critical path. What is the critical path, right? So we have something called the critical path method, which is basically an algorithm streaming together different processes, the longest one being the critical path, right? So in construction, we create a theory about how the building's gonna be built. And you're gonna say, what do you mean? You excavate, then you go up, and then the plumbing, mechanical, electrical trades all come and they build the building. But that isn't necessarily true. We theoretically take history, right? Just like the military, and apply it to what's happening today. I'll give you an example, a simple one. Could you build the fifth floor if you don't have the foundation in? Obviously not. So the critical path goes through the foundation. But let's give you a slightly more complex one. We have a 10-story building. We poured the eighth floor. Really what then comes is the mechanical equipment because that's a rigid. Then you comes the plumbing, the sprinkler, the electrical, and the technology because that is more flexible. But if you haven't actually poured the next floor, then how can you put the mechanical equipment there? Meaning the critical path is only one path. As long as you achieve the goal on that critical path, the project is actually on time. So you create this theory, the basic schedule. That schedule's changing. But here's the, pro the problem with that. You can only tell if a schedule is changing from the critical path by looking back 30 days. So you basically imagine 
just like the military. We need to be over there in 30 days. Same thing with construction. But you don't know if you've actually achieved that goal till the 30 days are up. You then look back on those 30 days to get insight into the next 30 days. How inefficient is that? How come we can't get data and information within the 30 days, but I think there's a solution. Stay tuned. So the first one is called the critical path method. That is how we build. That is how we operate complex projects, whether it's construction and or the military or NASA. Again, the critical path. Understand the critical path because that's how we build. The next thing is the money. We don't work for free. People are motivated by the capital that's coming into the project, correct? But how do you get paid in construction? It's not as if they pay it forward as we spoke about in episode number one. We have something called the requisition. What is the requisition in its simplest form? An invoice. But as I told you before, we got 50 subcontractors on a project with something called the schedule of values, which is line item after line item after line item. I'm talking about supply talking about putting deposits down for stuff, talking about manpower, line after line. So imagine 50 subcontractors, each of them have a requisition which has 100 line items that you're supposed to track. That requisition is supposed to go to a general contractor's requisition with his cost, which rolls up to a developer's requisition with his cost or her cost, and then it goes to the bank to fund, and then the money has to flow all the way back down to all the places it's supposed to be. Now again, I told you, you every 30 days you have to be building and paying so it's a thousand page document where there's tons of information that has to be corrected it has to be checked and if it's slow the project slows down now the requisition also can tell you how long a project takes what about if you're only billing you say it's gonna be a 12 month project it's a hundred dollars or let's say it's actually a 12 month project for hundred and twenty dollars for easier math if month one you didn't spend 12 are you on time in month two did you spend 24 are you on time so it's the second thing if you follow the money it assists you in understanding if the project is actually on time if it goes too slow the project slows down. If it goes too fast, usually there's mistakes, maybe there's some corruption. So you're stuck in this place where the two tools that are required in order to make this project move, which we said is the simplest form, but it's a super complex process to actually get that building done. So if you can follow the critical path and you can make the flow of money efficiently, maybe we can build faster but we're not. Like I told you, we're building slower. 50 years ago, we were building faster than today. So what could change that game? And my solution, which is what I'm always trumpeting, is technology. There are technological solutions out there that could actually speed up this process. We've got a construction process that's complex. Even if you have the money and you got the plans, it does not mean that it builds fast, but you've got to understand the two principles that we've created in construction over millennia, the critical path and the requisition, which is just the invoice. Watch the money and watch the field and you build your building. It's been a pleasure. You know how we always do at the end. Your boy EB, E Breezy signing off. Wait till episode seven. I got more for you.